Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Karua Shapes Pencil Plus. This board features Karua's float camber, which is rocker in the nose, then camber throughout. This is gonna give you the load, pop, and drive of traditional camber throughout the vast majority of the board, but you're gonna get ease of entry in and out of turns from that rocker, as well as more optimal powder float. This board is only available in 164. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basin on a mostly sunny day. There was like some gray clouds that were kind of swirling around. It was colder temps, zero winds. There was a little bit of snow on top of perfect corduroy. And then you could find some chop and chunder on the sides of the runs. And I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. So once again, we're on another plus line board, which means it's of the stiffer variety due to the carbon construction in it. This board has a fully directional flex. So you do get a softer nose that stiffens up right where the rocker meets the camber and it progressively gets stiffer to the tail. There's a little bit of torsional flex, which makes it fun when you actually manipulate your ankles and steer it, but it's not overly demanding. Overall, I'd say that this board is definitely on the stiffer end of the free ride spectrum. Not the stiffest thing I've been on, but it is stiffer. Now, when it comes to stability, this is a board that you feel all that kinetic energy coming up underneath right into the feet. It's just very lively, very reactive. You're going to feel it. So keep your knees bent and be aware that there is probably going to be some leg fatigue at the end of the day. That nose, while it will push into more firmer stuff, that rocker will flex and that's going to drive any energy right where that camber zone hits right into your front foot. So expect to just take some hits with this thing. The nice thing about this board being full carbon and having just all this high end stuff in it and having a camber dominant profile is that when you load it up, you're gonna be able to pop. The board reacts, it wants to get back into its natural shape. It's not the snappiest thing I've been on, but it will boost you. You hit a roller, you're gonna be able to pop. A side hit, you're gonna be able to send it. You know, you're just rolling along and you just start popping, you're going to feel it. It's a board that can get you in the air and it wants to get you in the air even though it's not the most snappy thing that I've been on. It does a great job. Yeah, I, I didn't even try to butter this thing. I mean, wh why would I? I wanted to go turn and slash snow. You should too. When it comes to carving, this is what this board was designed for. It's fluid edge to edge, and there's a lot of raw power just coming out of this board when you get it on edge. You notice that right away. This is a board that if you do subtle movements and adjustments, you can change the whole way it's turning. It's aggressive, I'm not gonna lie about that. When you lay this thing over, and you will, trust me, you're gonna wanna lay it over, you're gonna engage it outside the front foot, and that's gonna drive it into the back. Now here's the thing, when you're pushing that back foot in, and you're just laying it over, if you really wanna spring out of the carve and really disengage it, but change the apex, you push it into the center. That's gonna flex that tail and it springs you right out. And then you find yourself back on that flat base and you can transition over from your toe to your heel edge. This is a board for just trenching and laying swoopy carves from one side of the trail to the other, or getting up into some tight terrain where you're just weaving in and out of people, trees, obstacles, whatever, and keeping it on edge. This thing is super assertive. It's super aggressive. It's awesome on edge. This is my second favorite board right now from Karua, especially for just how it turns. Absolutely frigging phenomenal. I love the way that this thing rides on edge. I just found myself just laying it over as much as possible and not worrying about it. It stays on edge. It's smooth on edge. You do feel that liveliness, but it just tells you to put more power into the drive from the bindings to just get it to go through the carve. Who's this board for? The resort ripping carver that wants to see things differently. They're going to look at banks and berms and be like, I can turn on that. I can just carve across that and then slash, or I can lay it over through this crowd of people. As I said, this is my second favorite board from Karua right now. It just changes how you approach the mountain. I've ridden a basin hundreds if not thousands of days. I have my set lines for when I'm testing boards. This made me leave that comfort zone and try different things and I don't regret it at all. This thing was just phenomenal. The way it approaches things, how you can just drive into it and change that apex of the carve, it's amazing. Like 
I can't speak highly enough for what this board is. It kind of reminded me of riding like an old K2 Carvair, but with more carbon and just being more lively. It was a board for trenching and just letting people know, I can turn, you're in my way, but I'm gonna go around you. Comparable boards, the Amplid Pentaquark, the Nitro Pantera, the Battalion Carver, Binding recommendations, the Rome Katana, the Solomon Alibi Pro, the Ride A9. This has been my review of the Karua Shapes Pencil Plus. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.